Okay, so um, today I'm going to do the New York City in-cabin inspection. This is how they want you to start, okay? So the first thing that you're going to do is when you get to the road test, they're gonna ask you for your driver license and learn permit class A, okay? So you're gonna give it to them. Make sure you don't forget the one of two, one of both um, license. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to check the early te um, the air pressures. The air pressure needs to be <clears throat> more than the hundred. Like right now, is more than the hundred. You can start with the in cabin inspection, but you still got to turn on the truck. Okay, so I'm gonna do a safety start and make sure to break the apply. So I'm gonna put my truck in the lower gear for safety. It's on first. Okay, so I'm gonna open the switch. I'm gonna release the pipe brake. I should not lose no more than four psi in one minute. You gotta wait for the minutes, okay? You gotta wait for one minute. Let's say the minute pass. So I'm gonna let it go because the minute pass. You say no leaks. I have no leaks. Now I'm gonna check alarm. 60 psi checking alarm. You gotta pump the brake until the alarm come out. This is the alarm. Alarm is good, alarm is working. Now, I'm gonna check my parking's brake. They should pop out between 40 and 20 PSI. You gotta pump the brake until they come out. Sometimes they come one by one, sometimes they come out together. See one, and see the other. See the tractor. Okay, now it's good. So my parking brake is good, my parking brake is working. Now, safety star. I gotta put it back on neutral. And I gotta make sure my brake they apply. Okay, so, you gotta fill up your, your air pressure between 120 and 140. So you can get a little bit gas, you can grab the RPM between 10 and 15. So it can build the air a little bit faster. They're gonna tell they're gonna tell you so so you can continue with your heat cover inspection. You don't matter how you wanna start. I'm gonna start with my windshield. My windshield is secure and I crack it clean, no legal stickers. My registration and inspection is present clean up to date. My windshield wipers, they secure. I've been broken or damaged and working properly. Now I'm gonna check my washing fluid. My washing fluid is working properly. My headlights. Headlights is working properly, it should be working properly. My high beams, high beams working properly. Right turn blinker, left turn blinker working properly. Inside and outside, four flashing working properly. Inside and outside, brake light should be working properly. So you see, I'm done with the lights. Now I'm gonna talk about my meters. My meters, they secure. I crack, I just seem to me, my cabin door, it's a cute mountain, I've been broken and damaged and working properly. My door window, it's secure, not cracking clean and working properly. My rear window, it's secure, not crack, no legal sticker. My cabin light, it's secure, not been broken or damaged and working properly. Also, I have my seatbelt, it's secure, not cut or frame and working properly. You leave it on. I got my heater and the frozen working properly. I got three emergency equipment, one box of fuel, one box of triangle reflector, and my fire extinguisher that is secure and fully charged. And my floor is not degree, there is no ice, no battery can go under my pedal. Okay? My steering wheel, it's not been broken or damaged, no more than two inch of three plates. City hall working properly, highway hall working properly. Okay. So now, I'm gonna talk about my gauges. So I have my oil pressure should be proper range between 25 and 50. I have my water temperature should be proper range between 130 and 170. I have my RPM is working properly. My MPH is working properly. Right now it's not moving because we're not moving. Also I have my voltage should be proper range between 12 and 14. My air pressure should be proper range between 120 and 140 PSI. I have my fuel tank 
should be proper range, no less than half a ton. Should be enough for the road test, okay? So I'm done with my in cabin inspection. So I'm gonna continue with my brake test, okay? First, I'm gonna check my trailer brake. I'm gonna put on a lower gear. I'm gonna release the tractor brake. I'm gonna leave the trailer brake on. I'm gonna release the clutch slowly. It don't go, so that means it's working properly. Now I'm gonna check my tractor brake. Pull it out, push the trailer back in. Okay, it don't go, so that means it's working properly. Now I'm gonna check my handbrake. Handbrake is good, it's working properly. Now I'm gonna check my service brake. I will go five to 10 miles per hour. If my wheel put to the left or put to the right, brake needs to be adjusted. Service brake is working properly. 